welcome to the road to the 19th Asian Games, Hangzhou. I'm Yongxin Celia Chen. I'll bring our build up to the Hangzhou Asian Games with interviews, highlights, and interesting stories of the sporting actions, all that is coming up very soon. The Asian Games Village is the largest non competition venue for the 19th Asian Games, Hangzhou. You're in the games. It is also home to athletes, officials, and media staff of participating countries and regions. Today we will have a tour inside the village and get some facts and figures on how the village welcomes its and technical officials, media staffs, and athletes of participating countries and regions. The Hangzhou Asian Games Village spans an impressive area of 1.30 million square meters, exceeding the size of 150 standard football pitches. It encompasses the villages for the athletes, the technical officials, and the media, as well as the international and public zones. It comprises of 108 buildings and hosts nearly 20,000 people during the games. Thank you. Well, here we are at the first stop of the Asian Games Village Team Processing Center. This is where all athletes and team officials first arrive before checking at the Athletes Village and is one of the entries to the village during the games. 24-7 services are expected. Hello. Hello, welcome to the Team Processing Center. What can I do for you? Uh, where can I validate my card? Oh, the validation desk is over there. You can validate your card there. Thank you. You're welcome. After checking, we can take the village shuttle bus to anywhere within the village. During the games, the athletes' village, media village, and technical officials' village by a hundred shuttle buses who will provide services round the clock and online reservations are also available. Hello! Welcome to my new home! I'm just kidding, this is the athlete's model room. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms and can accommodate seven athletes during the games. With the spacious interior design, all rooms come with various home appliances and furnishings. Look at this, where well, the organizing committee have prepared welcome gifts in each bedroom. Let's see what we've got here. Here are some ornate and decorative pin and stamps as well as toothpaste and toothbrushes. It's fully furnished and it has everything they need. And some items are made from recycled materials, very environmental friendly. Some designs are very thoughtful. The village provides beds that are adjustable to different heights of the athletes. Every delegation has rooms for athletes and team officials plus a multifunctional room. Each team officials room comes with office facilities and a multifunctional space. And it is allocated as per the size of the delegation with an area ranging from 50 to 200 square meters set at the bottom floor of each delegation's residence. During the games, there will be eight residence centers, four of which ensure round-the-clock support. Athletes can enjoy moments of response, watch the games, or make use of adjacent internet cafes and conference rooms. It's worth mentioning that in every room, you will see a QR code being placed beside the a switch. Well, this QR code is the village cloud portal. Just scan the QR code and you will enter the virtual Asian Games village. As we see, we can order services straight from the virtual platform, like uh, ordering special diets and a shuttle service. Let's make a reservation for a fitness class. The Asian Games Village boasts a fitness center of about 8,000 square meters and providing a combined area for 350 athletes. Let's go take a look. This is a multifunctional area and aerobic area. And right in front of me is the weight area. Of course, athletes can choose uh, their own workout equipment that suits their needs and choose their favorite coach uh, for training services. As an athlete-centered concept, the fitness center takes into consideration of habits of Asian athletes and coaches as well as cutting-edge concepts in international fitness training. It has five specialized areas, including an aerobic area and strength training areas, 
and employs professional coaches from various fields, including nutrition management, physical rehabilitation, fatigue recovery, and sports psychology. Their expertise yields tailored services, ensuring optimal and timely support for athletes. Everyone is curious about the dining hall of the Asian Games Village. My first impression? This place is huge. It has an area of about 8,400 square meters, providing a seat capacity for about 4,200 diners. During the games, the dining hall provides great dining services for athletes and team officials, guaranteed to meet the needs of participating countries and regions. A variety of cuisines are offered covering six types, namely Chinese, East Asian, South Asian and Subcontinental, Arabic and Middle Eastern, European cuisine, as well as Western fast food. Except the Arabian and Middle Eastern dining area, every dining area provides at least a seven-course menu for lunch and dinner, with over three main courses and at least two soups and congee. And every day, over 400 dishes are served, and a seven-day cycle menu and pictures balance the portions of meats and the vegetables. And besides that, the dining hall provides a 20-hour service every day. As the largest non-competition venue and with the highest requirement for continuous operation, the Hangzhou Asian Games Village showcases environmental protection, intelligence and efficiency. We have every reason to believe that the home for athletes will provide a warm and enjoyable experience for all guests. The Asian Games Village not only shows Hangzhou's traditional culture as a whole, but also international inclusiveness and openness. After the Asian Games, the village will become a model urban district living environment. It will contain business, cultural, sports, entertainment and ecological living areas. OK, that's about it from us for this week, but join us next time for more Asian Games fun. Good day.